everyone and welcome! This is the Martian Explorations. I am Dr. Sparks and today we are going to be solving a mystery. Let's get to it! I know a place that's really cool. It's up higher than any school. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grab a jetpack and some fuel. Cause we're going up high, high in the sky. Come on up for a ride. With your good friends at your side. Imagination is your guide, cause it's Dr. Sparks, science story typewriting time. Hello everyone and welcome. I am Dr. Sparks and today we are going to go all the way to the red planet, to Mars, to do an exploration of the planet there. We are joined today by three heroes, by Martian Mole, Martian Squirrel, and Martian Mouse. Or, as they prefer to go by on Earth, we've got Trick, Jude, and Evelyn. Together, the three of them are going to solve mysteries, have adventures, and in general, make the planet, the red planet, a better place. Let's get to it. The three of you awaken from uneasy dreams in the lair of a villain. If you look around you, there is a door that is locked, and inside it is a very peculiar looking room. This is where the villain lives. And he's got a very, or she, whoever the villain is, he or she, has a very interesting sense of interior decorating. Against the wall, you can see a suit of armor wearing suspenders. There is a warthog with a ring through its nose, several bookshelves, a safe, three huge buttons right in the middle of the room, one, two, three, they're labeled, and a guitar. Your objective today is to escape from this room. What would you guys like to do first? Mm -hmm. Maybe click a button, one of the buttons. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, which button would you like to press? There's one, two, and three. Well, maybe two. All right. <laughs> you guys press two. And what happens? <clears throat> oh, good. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> Suddenly the room is upside down! Can't you just see it? My goodness, look at this! Everything is, is upside down. Is gravity working? I can't tell! <laughs> Guys, press it again. Press button number two again, because this is just ridiculous. Somebody press it. Who's going to press it? I'll press it. Martian Mole! He comes forward. He presses the button. <laughs> and does it work? Oh, thank goodness. I'm back on the ground. Ah, oh, man. Is gravity working? I, 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 once again, I can't tell if it ever didn't work, but we're once again, we're no longer upside down. So thank you for that, guys. Be careful with those buttons. The buttons must be booby traps. Um, but it might be interesting to press the others. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to look at in the room or another button you'd like to press? Oh, wait, I got an idea. Sure. Martian Mole, what do you think? Um, I think we should, um maybe pull the ring um of the of the things um of the bull's nose yeah awesome yes okay so there's the mounted bull's head on the wall it's got a big ring in its nose you reach up and you give it a big old tug and guess what happens suddenly the room is filled with a melody a guitar melody it sounds like do, 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 do. That's all that happens. The room is once again plunged into silence. But it sounds like a clue. Anything else you guys want to look at? There's a whole host of uh, objects here to manipulate. Oh, the squirrel, Martian squirrel, what do you think? Maybe we could try opening the diary. The diary? Where's the diary? I don't see a diary here. With the lock. Oh, it's a lock. Oh, it's a safe. Okay, so you go ahead and you go and look at the safe. Martian Squirrel's looking at the safe. <clears throat> and it's got a big keyhole on it. Um, do you have a key? Yeah, it's on the safe. Oh, the, well, the keyhole is on the safe, but is the key on the safe? Yes. No, see, that's a big lever arm. You could try giving the lever arm a move, but sometimes you have to use the key first to get the lever arm to move. Do you want to try to move the lever arm? Sure. 
Can you can you show me? Can you show me what it looks like whenever you pull on the handle? You take it in your hand, and there's a squeak, but it doesn't open. It just just squeaks a little bit. <laughs> I think you're gonna need a key first. You might have to work with something else first. Anything else you think looks interesting around this room? Martian mole. What do you think? Is that, oh yeah, that's me. Um, maybe something with the typewriter. Maybe you can. Oh. Maybe there's a combination or buttons you can press. Like, Excellent. Well, let's let's go ahead and look at the typewriter. So the typewriter over there, I actually have an exact replica of it. Right. Here. Can you see this typewriter? It's pretty interesting. So in the top, there's actually some words written out. It says, "Please type the password." And then if you look at the keys on the typewriter, um, some of them look a little different. Does anything look unusual about this typewriter keyboard? Yes. What is that, Marshmallow? Um, the, there's red. Yes, but only on a few of the keys, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think that means? Maybe it means, like, something about those keys specifically. I think you might be right. Maybe the last person that typed on this typewriter had red on their fingers. What do you think, Martian Squirrel? Um, maybe it's uh, some... It's the uh, um, uh, part of the password. I think you might be right. Okay, so what could the password be? So we think it has these three letters that are traced out in red. Does anybody, can anybody figure out what those keys might be? The ones that are covered in red? Yeah, Martian Squirrel. Martian Squirrel, what you don't have to raise your hand. If you have an idea, you can just shout it out. One is A because it's on the um, left side, I think. This one right here? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, that's the letter A. There's also S. S, yes. Right here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so A and S are both in the password. And R. R, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what's that last one? Here, can we let Martian Mouse answer this one? Martian Mouse, can you figure out what that last letter might be? Jude, do you have an idea? You might have a keyboard. It's M, it's M. It's M? Okay, yes. The answer is yes. Okay, so those four letters, we've got A, S, R, and M. Do you think we can combine them to spell a word, a password? Maybe. Looks like Martian Mouse is working here. Evelyn, do you have an idea? Martian Squirrel? Mars. Mars? Would that work? Sarah, what do you think? Would that work? Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Martian Mouse has it. Okay. Excellent job, Martian Squirrel. It looks like you picked it out. Martian Mouse, it looks like you uh, guessed it right. All right, let's go ahead and try to type in the password in the typewriter and see what happens. So if we look at the letters, I'm going to type M A R S. And as soon as you do that, there's a rumbling and a jiggling sound. And all of a sudden, you hear a heavy clicking sound as if some mechanism has opened. And the drawer that the typewriter is on, because it's on a little desk, it actually opens right up. Can you see that desk it's on? Yes. It's open. So now you pull the drawer open, and inside you find several curious objects. What is this here? What are these things? Hello? There's Martian, there. you guys don't have to raise your hands. You can just call out the answer if you have an idea. Martian One. Mole. Uh, Martian Squirrel, what do you think? One is something written on a piece of cardboard. Yeah. Well, what does it look like it's talking about? Office of Mayor Red Pibble Mars Mor Martin Lizard Mayor. And right below that, it says what it is. Martian Mole, what is this? Maybe, I think it might say diary something. Do you know what the word itinerary means? No. That's this word right here. It's, it's daily itinerary. Yep. Something. Have you ever heard that word before? 
Martian Mouse, have you ever heard the word uh, itinerary before? No. It kind I of have, means. But I, I have, but I don't know what it means. It's kind of like your plan for the day. So this piece of paper right here says all the places that the mayor of Red Pebble is supposed to go in a day. I wonder if that has something to do with the mystery. And look at this. One of the places he's supposed to go is circled in red. And it looks like something is pointed out in pretty big arrows. And I don't know. What does this say? I'll say something. Martian Mole, what do you think? What does this say? Town Square. The town square. Okay. So something about this mystery is going to involve the town square, doesn't it? Right? This is pretty interesting. Okay. And at nine o'clock is the time that it's going to happen. Nine to nine thirty. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, what else is in this drawer here? What, what is this invention looking thing right here? Do you think? Yeah. Martian mole. Um, I think it might be a phone case or a glass case glasses case yeah but it's like no glasses case i've ever seen it's got a button in the center pressing the button doesn't seem to do anything <laughs> um what can we do to maybe i don't know is there anything else we can do with it martian mouse what should we do to maybe figure out this this phone case thing uh Yeah, able to open it or something? Let's go ahead and try and open it. Yeah, good idea. Whoa, holy cow, this thing. There's a lot happening inside. It's got some real guts, doesn't it? <laughs> um, is there anything that we can change that might have something happen? Do you see witches or I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of wires, but if we go touching those, we're going to get shocked or electrocuted. My goodness. Maybe you could try reading, like, the pink thing. Um... The pink thing says charge. So it looks like that's the battery right there. And there's just a little logo that I don't think has anything to do with anything. But is there anything else? Any switches or buttons or anything? Yeah, there's a switch. Yeah, yeah. Where? Like at the bottom. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and flick that switch. What is it? says, um, I see it says on and off. Oh, we're going to flick it to on and see if anything happens. Oh, okay. A light turned on. Jeez, it didn't explode. Thank goodness. Uh... Anything else happen? Oh, whoa! Okay. Uh, what's happening here? It says R M I. What? Maybe, Let's see. Maybe it turned on or something. I think it did. It looks like it's. What is? What is going on? I don't even know what this is. I think it's trying to say something. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah. It does look like like it's it's like spelling something out letter by letter, huh? Okay, so let's see if we can... Um, I wonder if anything happens... If I press this button, it looks like the message will reset. So every time I press it, it goes back to T and starts the message again. Do you think it's spelling something out? From... One is from... Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So from right look like the last two words. Okay, first word. Anybody figure that one out? It's pretty tricky. Uh, I'll press it from the start so we can go back to the beginning here. And third. Third. Excellent. Yeah. So we've got third, and then there's a second word. Third. From. Blank. From. Right. What is that second word? So here we got third. T-H-I-R-D. B-O-O-K. F. Third book. Third book from the right. Uh, excellent. Okay. I think you guys might have just solved your first clue. <laughs> Let's look back at our room once again and see if we can see. The third, the... You have to pick the, the third book from the right on top Perfect. of the thing. Uh, which, which, which bookshelf are we looking at? Um, I think the one that's, that's above the typewriter. Okay, Martian Mole goes up and he steps on the desk and he peers at the books. But they're actually not books. They all appear to be DVDs. 
Uh, it looks like the supervillain is kind of behind the times. Not a particularly techie person. Weird. They still have DVDs. Who still has DVDs? Anyways, you're going to have to look at a different bookshelf, I think, to find the book. Is there another bookshelf? Yeah, there's one above the safe. Yes, the one above the safe. Okay. Well, you go ahead and you look. And wouldn't you know it, the third book from the right. This is it right here. You open it up, and it's uh, it's the Golden Ratio by Mario Livio. Uh, it looks like it's a bunch of, like, I don't know, poems and math? I'm looking at geometry. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! There's a hole cut out in the middle! There's something inside it! <laughs> what is this? It's the key. It's the key! Oh, my goodness! Put it on the safe! Put it on the safe! It All right! Safe. Quickly! We gotta put it in the ki in the safe! Put it there's the key in the safe. Okay, you open up the safe, and inside it, you find two objects. The very first object in the safe is a crank. It looks just like this one right here. There was also symbols when we looked in the book. Mm-hmm, yeah, but I don't think those have anything to do with it. But there's also, also inside that book, there is a... What is this? Blueprints for the jetpack. What? What? Does this, does this tell you how to build a jetpack? What? So then in the room, there has to be parts to a jetpack. Maybe. That could definitely be what's happening in this room. But I think a jetpack's definitely going to come into it somehow. Let's keep looking, though. The other thing that was in that room, inside that safe, was that crank that looks like this one. Do you guys want to try to give it a crank and see what happens? Yeah, sure. Can you guys give me the cranking motion? Can you show me a, a, you know, like a... Yes, exactly. Okay, here we go. You ready? What's gonna happen? Lighting is higher. Let me see. I think there's uh, one other part of this. You see, in the room, there was a suit of armor, wasn't there? Yep. The suit of armor is wearing suspenders, and his suspenders are doing exactly the same thing that my suspenders are doing. As you crank on the crank, the lights... <gasps> The lights on your suspenders are lighting up. Yeah, yeah should I? I should probably stop, right? I shouldn't go any further. Your suspenders are lighting up. Yeah, okay. Do you think that's done? Should I stop here and do something else? No, try cranking it more to see if all of it lights up. You guys are going to have to help me. Come on, crank me. Crank me. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Confetti shot out of the top! <laughs> <laughs> The same thing happened with the knight. The knight is now activated. And the knight says, Hello, I am Nightbot300. You have successfully activated me. I can tell you how to get out of here, but to do that, you will have to prove that you are indeed my villain. The only way that Martian Raccoon can activate the next step of this sequence is by giving me his best maniacal laughter. It sounds like, guys, to get this night bot to get on your side and to go to the next part of this, uh, of this escape room, you're going to have to maniacally laugh. Do you guys know what that means? No. Um, have you guys ever... What's that? Does somebody know? It means like this. <laughs> okay. Ah, Trick's got it! <laughs> Martian Mole, that was an incredible maniacal laugh. Anytime you've seen like a, a bad or a scary movie with a bad guy, right? Uh, they sometimes call them villains. And a villain sometimes has a very characteristic laugh. It sounds, Trick gave us a great one, but it's like, Whoa! Like an evil laugh. <clears throat> Maniacal is just like another word for evil. Um, Not so can like you guys. A laugh that a normal person would give, like if something funny happened. Yeah, not like that at all. This is like. You know, if something really, really bad happens. If you just successfully turned all the stop signs to go signs and everybody's suddenly crashing all over the place you, and you were a supervillain and you wanted that to happen, you would start giving your maniacal laughter. You would say, Whoa! <laughs> Can you guys all give me a maniacal laugh? If you do it, you Martian Mouse's laugh. That was great, Martian Mouse. That was incredible. <laughs> Martian Mole, awesome. 
Martian squirrel, can you give me a laugh? <laughs> well, somewhere with the three of those labs combined, it was exactly the right thing to say. And Nightbot 300 says, you have successfully activated the pneumatic tube. Don't you know that the next step is to press the buttons in the proper sequence? Do you remember the booby trap buttons from the very beginning? If you press them in the order three, then one, then two, you will be able to escape. Now it sounds like you're gonna have to press those buttons in the right order. So do you guys wanna set yourselves? Martian mouse, you should go by one. Martian squirrel, you should go by another. And then you can press them at the same time. Martian squirrel, do you have something to say? I think the order um, is uh, three, one, two. I think you might be right as well. Can you guys position yourselves by the, which, who wants to take which um, button? I'll... I'll take three. I'll okay. Take, I'll take one. Squirrel's on three. Mouse is on one. Mole's on two. Okay. So you guys are going to have to press these in the proper order. But before we do that, I was wondering, um, because it may not come up, do you think Martian, well, whoever's on button number one, do you think you could try and give that a press just to see what happens if you booby trap, if you try the first booby trap? Yeah. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, sure. You press button number one. Oh my goodness! Ah! Ah! Button number one is the bear trap! Oh my goodness! Ah! Just press it again! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> you gotta press button number one again! Somebody press it! Ah! The agony! Okay. Oh jeez. Okay, I got my leg out of the bear trap. Okay. No more booby traps. That was terrible. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. So you guys are gonna have to press the buttons in the right order. So, uh, Martian Squirrel, which one are you? Are you on number three? Yeah, that one Martian goes first because yeah. the order is three, one, two. Okay. okay, so you guys are gonna have to do the order in the right order. Um, well, yeah, obviously. You're gonna have to do them in the right order. Can you raise your hands um, one after another mm -hmm. in the right order? Yeah, exactly. So put your hand right in front of the camera if you can. Yeah. And Martian Mouse, you down for this too? Can you raise your hand? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, so re do you guys know your order? You want to practice before you press these buttons? Yeah, sure. I'll count you down. You ready? Three, two, one. And then number three has to press first, right? Yes. Squirrel press first. So you raise your hand first, Martian Squirrel. And then Martian Mole. And then Martian Mouse. All right, you guys got the right idea. You ready? So I'll count you down, and then Martian Squirrel will raise her hand, Martian Mole will raise his hand, and Martian Mouse will raise his hand in that order. You guys want to try it one more time? Practice? Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Martian Mole! Martian Mole! Jude! Jude! <laughs> Martian Mouse! Yeah, there you go. One, two, three. Okay, let's try it one more time. Let's try to get this down. You ready? So Squirrel, Mole, Mouse. Three, two, one. Squirrel, mole, mouse. Hey, you did it! Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, after that happens, there's another pneumatic sound. There's a and down the tube next to the bookcase comes a key. And this key will let you out of the building. This is actually the escaping part of the escape room. But let me warn you guys before you head out. You might be missing something else you should learn about this room before you leave. Do you remember, Trick, do you remember that noise that you heard whenever you pulled in the warthog's nose? Martian squirrel, do you have an idea? Maybe um, pull it up. Well, I think you were right. It made a noise, but is there anything else you could replicate? Hello, how's it going there, Ethan? It's good to see you, buddy. Is there anything you could make that noise with in that room? The guitar. The guitar, exactly. Do you think, if you pull on that ring, you're gonna hear that noise again. Do you think you can, one of you could play that guitar and you can make those no notes? Who's gonna play the guitar? Okay, the squirrel's gonna play the guitar. Martian squirrel. Okay. Now, does somebody, Martian mole, will you get up on that table again and will you play the notes? We gotta know what they are so we can hear it. Let's go ahead and look at the Martian Mole. And Martian Mole, can you pull on his nose? 
Okay, and then it, it makes the noise, right? So we gotta match that noise. Can somebody make those noises with their mouth? I can't hear it. I think it was... I'm sorry, Marshmallow, can you give it to me one more time? Um, I think it was like, can I hear it again? Because, um, the goggles. That was it. You ready? Okay, um, what time is it? Can you do it with your mouth? Can you just, like, hum it for me? One, one more time really loud. Perfect. All right, and with that, a secret compartment opens up and the table that is supporting the typewriter pulls back into the wall, rotates around, and instead emerging is a fish on a pedestal. Well, hello there. I'm Martian Fish and it's very good to see you guys. I've been trapped in here for about three years. Do you guys think you can help me get out of here? I'll tell you everything I know about this villain's lair if you want to know, but you got to let me out first. What do you guys think? Do you want to talk to this fish? Yeah. What are you going to say to him? We'll get you out. Well, we'll okay. Get you out. Is anybody suspicious of the fish? He does live in a villain's lair. Maybe he's a villain. He might be a villain. It's possible. I think that you should ask him, you should get all of his information before you let him go. Or do you trust him? Sometimes it's the best strategy to trust somebody. The fish says, oh, I'm very trustworthy. You can absolutely trust me. I'm as trustworthy as I am wet and I'm in a bowl of water. So, you know, I'm pretty trustworthy. Yeah. Do you guys want to ask him any questions? Yeah. What do you want to ask him? What he knows about the building. Well, okay. Will you let me go if I tell you everything? Yes. Okay. So here's the deal. This villain's lair is owned by Martian Raccoon. He's a villain or he wants to be one. Martian Raccoon, he kidnapped me a number of years ago and he's not planning on stopping there. His plan is to kidnap the mayor of Red Pebble. He wants to hold the mayor for ransom. He heard that you three had saved the town the other day. And so he decided he was going to lock you up in his lair so that you couldn't save the mayor. Now, I've given you everything I know. Will you guys let me go? Yeah. Okay, you guys are very kind. All right. Do you see that drone that's over there on the shelf? Yes, yeah. Can you go ahead and turn it on and let it fly over here? Because that drone can actually carry me out of here. I'll follow you guys when you go. I'm going to be a flying fish. It's been a dream of mine for a very long time. Okay. You guys down? Okay. So, Martian Mole, is that you said, that said yes? The three of you... Walk over and you get the drone down. You find a way to turn it on. There's a little switch. The drone, it flies over and it extends a little grappling hook down and it latches on to the lip of the fish's bowl and it picks it up and it's just able to carry it in the air. And it was and up and up and up and away. The, the fish flies. The fish is gone into the other. He flies away through an open air vent that you guys didn't see until that very moment. Now, the door is open. The door can be open. You have the key to open the door. Do you guys want to try to unlock it or head out? Or do you, are you yeah. very comfortable in the villain's lair? Yeah. All right. You walk over and you insert the key into the lock. The lock opens and you make your way out. You did it! You made it out of the escape room. But can you guys stop Martian Raccoon's plot? That's the other part you need to do now. You know where he's going. You know what he's planning to do. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? We should go to the city hall. Go, okay. Uh, was it the city hall? Do you guys remember? Um, I know where we could go. Well, to the park. What do you say, Martian Mole? What do you think? Maybe to the park. 
we could go to the park. Do you, was there anything? Do you guys remember seeing anything? Um, this had some information, didn't it? Town Square. The Town Square. Oh, that's basically a park. So, are you guys gonna go to the Town Square and see what happens? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I said. You guys, it's nine twenty. The mayor's not gonna be there very much longer. You guys have got to run as fast as you can. Can you guys show me running? Will you guys run as fast as you can? Come on, we gotta run! Hurry, guys, run, hurry! My goodness! Faster, faster! Oh, we're not gonna get there in time! This poor mayor, he's gonna be kidnapped, ransomed in his own town! <laughs> Alright, excellent job. Alright, you at last emerge into the town square, and you see a very, very peculiar sight. It is Martian Raccoon! He's wearing a jetpack! He's holding on to Martian, uh, to Martian Lizard! He's pulling him! Oh, jeez! Look at him! He's- uh, Martian Lizard is hanging on by his tail! He's being pulled away! He's hanging on to a fire hydrant right now! How are you guys- I want to play tug-of-war! What's that? Tug-of-war! It is a tug-of-war! Martian Raccoon's trying to kidnap the lizard! What are you guys gonna do? You gotta come up with a way to stop him! Pull on the rope on the, on the jetpack. Okay! Maybe put a stop sign somewhere! Oh, uh, you could try to put a stop sign? That's a good idea! Uh, okay, you guys all pull on the rope, but the jetpack is too powerful. With all of you pulling as hard as you can, Martian Raccoon is still straining and pulling as hard as he can. Arr! How else? Martian Mole, Martian Mouse, do you have an idea? I know, I know, I know. I know. Martian Mole. Um, what do you think? Since, um, I know that, um, that lizards regrow their tail, how about let's go with tail so that that happens and then and then he's okay and then he, he's okay and then martian raccoon thinks that that half that he got him but really no okay that sounds great okay so martian uh martian lizard is gonna let go of his tail because some lizards can let go of their tails i hope he's one of the ones that can you guys might want to ask him <laughs> martian mole do you want to ask Martian lizard, if he can let go of his tail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell him, tell him. Tell him what to do. Can you let go of your tail? Oh, jeez. Uh, I really like my tail. I'm the mayor of Red Bebble. If I lose my tail, are people going to vote for me? I don't know. Well, you have to survive. Well, but I I'm a politician. Survival, re-election, the two are the same. They're one and the same. I think if you guys tell him that you'd vote for him if he lost his tail, that might win him over. I would vote for you if you lost your tail. Well, okay. If you three will vote for me, all three of you agree? Yeah, you should yeah. definitely do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let go of my tail then. <laughs> Martian Raccoon soars into the air. He was only tethered by that line that was attaching him to the tail. He flies so fast, he goes through the stratosphere, the troposphere, the ionosphere. And there is a troposphere on Mars, I just learned today. So he flies through the sky, super far away, the jetpack carrying him far into the distance. The mayor is so grateful. Guys, you did it. You saved me. I, I, I'm going to get reelected now. I'm a hero. I'm a wartime mayor. <laughs> uh, okay, so the mayor decides he's going to throw you guys a disco party in celebration. Do you guys think that we could uh, celebrate a little bit? Dance a little more? You guys successfully escaped the room. You successfully rescued the mayor of Red Pebble, Martian Lizard. Now, there's only one thing to do, and that is to dance. You guys gotta dance! <laughs> You guys did it! You solved the mystery! We have an Evelyn Martian Squirrel coming up with all the solutions. Knowing uh, we had Martian Mole. He knew, Trick knew, that lizards can lose their tails. He saved the day. Martian Mouse, brave as ever at the forefront of everything. She was incredible! You guys are amazing! 
This is the Martian Explorations. I am Dr. Sparks, and thank you so much for solving our mystery today. Now, that's the end of our broadcast today, but I want to talk a little bit about who brought us here today and how you can find out more about Dr. Sparks. But you guys don't have to stick around if you don't want to. My name is Dr. Sparks. Today's session was brought to you by Family Maker Camp. They do all sorts of events just like this one. And if you want to find out more about the events they have, you can go to makercamp.com slash events. All sorts of information there about the other things that are happening this week, next week, and through the summer months as well. Maker Camp uh, is also supported by its members, and so you should consider becoming a member to help support programming like this, which we love producing. I'm Dr. Sparks. You can find out more about me and about the Martian explorations at drsparksshow.com. There it is. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dr. Sparks Show. Um, and if you would like, if you had a fun time today watching or participating, if you'd like to book your own show, a private session of the Martian Explorations, you can do that at drsparksshow.com. Once again, my name is Dr. Sparks. We were joined today by Trick, by Evelyn, and, uh, excuse me, and uh, Jude, and the three of them were amazing. Thank you guys so much. I'm Dr. Sparks.